Sam, it's nice to see you. The last time I think I saw you in person was in New York and you thought I was Australian. So I'm gonna try and sound really British this time. I remember um, that. I'm trying oh to get rid God. of it. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> God, that, was, that was a while ago now, right? A few years ago. I can't believe yeah. it's been that long since I've last interviewed you. So it's nice to see you again. Um, and you are no stranger to action roles. I know you keep yourself very physically fit, but did you need any extra training to get in that kind of SAS mind frame? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, I mean, luckily I had just come from doing Bloodshot with Vin Diesel. So I'd done a lot of work um, sort of physically, but uh, I was also working with some special forces to learn about, you know, the, the tactical movement and uh, you know, working with with um, assault rifles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then I got to work with Andy McNabb, which was really interesting, and probably more looking at the psychopathy and the the tactics, uh, the training of, of the SES. But yeah, we did we did extensive work together. We worked in a airsoft place in Leeds a couple of times. Worked on you know uh, controlled aggression and how to to work. Um, move tactically, how to clean out compounds, et cetera, et cetera. So it was quite extensive, but yeah, I think the most interesting part really was was more looking at the the psychology of, of a psychopath and, uh, and trying to sort of dig into Andy McNabb's, you know, his mind. I mean, stuff that will come very in handy in, in general life is knowing how psychopaths work, so. Well, yeah, right, <laughs> but it was, uh, you know, interesting because, you know, I think at first I was very skeptical um, about it. And, you know, then reading more about it talking to Andy and, and really studying him, you know, it became fascinating. And to know that there are so many actually out there that, you know, functioning psychopaths, people that that have this less empathy or have no empathy or, or at varying degrees of it, that are in the military, in, in the surgeons and lawyers, you know, people people that are in high stressful situations that need to be able to, to, to reduce their emotional uh, response um, is, is fascinating. Do you incur any injuries in this? Like I said, it's really physical. Like, I don't feel like you stop really very much at all. Were there any injuries that you succumbed to during this? Do you know what? I think I got, I think I'm fine. I didn't get anything. I mean, apart from a bad cold, I think I, uh, I think I was fine. Um, you know, we were shooting in the, the depth of winter in Budapest for some of it. And um, I remember one day just turning up and I just had a full blown, head cold but the uh the local makeup artist gave me some of their um palinka which i think is the local uh, spirit and I, whatever it was it knocks and knocked the cold out so uh, i would recommend that but no it's a very very physical um physical role and i just loved it you know i really uh, loved every day going to work and just mucking in and getting on with it yeah and what's it like taking on ruby rose because she is a woman who can hold her own like she's done plenty obviously we've seen her in batwoman so many other films like triple x like what's it like so going up against her knowing you've kind of met your match yeah absolutely well she i mean firstly ruby's brilliant she's so good in this i think she's the best thing i've, I've seen her in um it's a really interesting character for her and yeah we both wanted to do a really good job especially with the the climax the end of the movie and the, the battle in the forest and um we wanted it to be brutal and gritty and and really, I think we delivered that. You know, she really jumped in. She wanted to do as much as, of the stunts as she could. And uh, we really went for it. And um, yeah, she, she's just great fun, great to work with. And I think, yeah, they did a great job. How do you feel though? Because I know there are a lot of Outlander fans who are not happy that in this film, they see you kissing someone else who isn't Claire. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? Because you're so well known for Outlander. And yeah. now when you do anything else, it's always like, yeah. it's like how could he? I, I hope they get used to it. You know, I've done what, like five movies now. So hopefully they're slowly getting used to it. I guess we'll have to drip feed them. But no, I'm pleased that they, they're even supporting and watching the movie. And um, yeah, they won't see any ginger hair or wigs or kilts in this, I'm afraid. But uh, hopefully that that's good, and hopefully it's refreshing. And does doing do, doing films like this ever make you scared to go on like afterwards, going on the Eurostar, going in the Channel Tunnel? Like I know watching this, I'm like, oh god, like stuff like this could happen. Yeah, I mean it does a little bit, and I think also just learning more about like the world that we live in and how murky it is, and how, how many you know the government and also the military, you know how they operate. So I interesting that yeah, it's. The, the boundaries are very blurred and um, 
there's no real good or bad guys. I think it's more, you know, it depends which side you're on, but uh, certainly interesting, interesting to know. It's opened my eyes. Do you think Paris is the most romantic place in the world? Do you think to, to whisk someone off to and propose? Yeah, well, we do. Obviously, we go to Paris in the movie and uh, we were very lucky. It's beautiful. We were right next to the Eiffel Tower. And um, yeah, I mean, it, of course, it is the city of the city of love, but it was a uh, city of lights or is it city of love? I can't remember, but um, but yes, beautiful. But actually, Budapest, where we shot, is also stunningly beautiful. Very, very, um, very dark, very gothic, but uh, amazing city. So I'm, I'm kind of torn between the two. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. Sorry, I know I'm glitching, but I will leave it there. Thank you very much, Sam. It's nice to see you again. Good to see you, yeah. Hope and good you. luck. <laughs> good luck with the film. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Cheers. Thank you.